Well, good morning. You can only just see me. It's a very bright day. Um, anyway, I am going to my old stomping ground this morning. Got a load out of Tainham. And then I'm going to Gomez um, on that run I used to do. Uh, I'm going to Avermouth. So, yeah, quite looking forward to going to my old place I used to go to. I did that for about three years. You can only just see me. Yes, yeah, so uh, looking forward to that. I won't keep you here very long because obviously it's a bit dark. <laughs> Bye for now. Woohoo! On my way down to Gomez. Oh, there's a boat. <laughs> Must be waiting for the RAC or something, you know? Fancy seeing a boat. We're in much of it there. We are heading towards Dover mine. Boat coming useful down there. No doubt. And we are off. Brings back memories, this place, I tell you. Met up with my old mate Jiffy. He came and said hello. He only lives across the road. <laughs> that was nice. We've got a full load, split compartments. Plus three on the front, plus ten on the rear. All for Tesco's. Ava Mount. Got it warm. 26. Beautiful day. Really is nice. Then I got have half an hour break. So, uh, it is all good.
Here we are, we got a little British Airways little Airbus just coming past. Love to do me a bit of plane looking at, you know. And it's a nice day. It looked like a small Airbus, like a A319. Who knows? Can't see any more for a minute. Mmm, very good. Oh, hello, Dringy here. And uh, doing all right. Then we name them out. Uh, I'm in Reading at the moment. Just having a quick half an hour, and then, uh, in fact, the half an hour is already just gone. So I'm going to make a move straight into Avonmouth. I've already got my destructions of what I'm doing tomorrow, and it's going to be a pretty good day, hopefully. So we'll see. Got that fire earlier. It was mental. I don't know whether the camera caught it, but we'll soon find out when we do the video. Uh, but yeah, amazing. Anyway, it's a very nice day. It's 33 degrees. 33. Oh my God. It's supposed to get warmer as well in the uh, middle of the week. It's only Monday. I, uh, I should be home Wednesday. I have Thursday and Friday off and then back in on Saturday so uh, yeah see how we go. Good morning everybody it's another sunny day um, I've had an easy day so far I, uh, I've got up and uh, went in and got my trailer from Sainsbury's and then I literally went round the corner uh, I'm parked up because I'm doing a changeover. Now, I'm on time, but the trailer that's coming up isn't. <laughs> so I've had a nice cup of tea, watched a bit of telly, and um, I've had a lovely cup of tea. So he should be here in the next 20 minutes. So not all is lost. Got my trailer, I've got three drops on it. It should end up in uh, somewhere in Spalding, so from there I have no idea where I'm going. Greetings fellow people! I'm in the yard now. It's been a bit of a funny week for videos I'm afraid. It's, uh, not a lot was happening. Um, I aim to do a good video towards the end of the week and what actually happened was the end of a week turned out to be quite funny. I uh, ended up parked up fairly well early. It was uh, what time was it? Five o'clock, and I decided to start again at four in the morning. And then I had a passenger with me. Now that was a fascinating day, to be fair today, because uh, I, st I started at four in the morning, or quarter to four, and then. Um, he was there waiting for me and uh, a chap called Steve, lovely man, but he had um, he had to come down to Cornwall to pick up his MG and the only people that he could trust to do the, the car just happened to be in Devon and he was from Boston so uh, hmm. it was amazing to be fair uh, so I drop. I managed to drop him all the way down. He bought me breakfast on the way down, and uh, which was lovely. And uh, managed to get him down to his car. I had a thirteen hundred booking in Red Roof, which is why I had to leave so early as well. And I dropped him off. We uh, outside the, the the car repair shop. Went around, um, picked it up, and then he drove me back to the truck. He had a 1970, 
Lotus, V8 Lotus. And uh, oh my God, was it immaculate. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, one thing led to another and he, um, he had to drive that one back and uh, I had to carry on because I had a one o'clock book in, in Red Roof and I got there exactly one o'clock. So good planning. So, um, and now I'm all washed up. I was going to do a cooking video as well this week, and that never happened. <laughs> but all's good anyway, so it's, it's not it's not bad. It's just that uh, the fire was a bit of a mad one this week. It's going to be on the video. Started off with a tanker at the beginning of the week. Ended up with a fridge on my second trip with... Um, what did I have on that one? Okay, remember where I went. Hmm. And then came back. And then uh, went back up again, did a changeover. And then ended up going back up country with three drops. Ended up in Spalding and then went to Spalding to load to come home with. That was a, that was a good day. Nice early start, but a good day, you know. But one thing I will say is make sure you drink enough in this weather. Oh. Absolute nightmare. Well, I've got two days off and it's supposed to be absolutely mentally hot. But um, I haven't got much planned apart from food. Me and my missus are going to go to Strawberry Fields. they got a... Uh, with pick your own strawberries, which I think is now finished, but they have um, afternoon tea. And there's cakes, pasties, uh, cakes, pasties and bloody sandwiches, uh, cream tea, you name it, is all there. So mm, that sounds right up my street. So we're going to go and play with that, I think. Do a bit of flying over the weekend, not for real, but virtual. I'd like to go up, but can't afford it this week. Not a £200 an hour anyway. So I had a week off last week because uh, I had a bleed and it wasn't making me feel very well at all. So I stayed off last week and, uh, and I've had a good week this week. Absolutely stonking. So, thank you for watching. Uh, I promise I'll, I'll deliver more content next week. Uh, the day this week was a funny one, and I did plan on doing more at, towards the end of the week, which didn't happen because I had a company. So, I kind of naffed that up a little bit. Again, if you're down in this area and you and you like to drive the old fridges and that, you know who to ring. Give us a bell. Give us a bell. Always after drivers, even down in Cornwall. See you later. Bye for now.